Hey, Yannis Rubin here from the internet's most dedicated source of strength and muscle building information, permanentmuscle.com and buildingmuscleworldwide.com. Now today, I've got a real treat for you. I've got a leg workout to end all leg workouts. Uh, it's one of those ones which is uh, going to have you limping around the house for the few days after it, but it's also one of those ones which kickstarts muscle growth. You know, no matter you know, if you've got chopsticks for legs at the moment or uh, you know, fully grown tree trunks, this workout guarantees to grow those legs of yours even bigger. This workout targets the two primary muscle groups of the upper leg. That includes the four muscles of the quadriceps, being the vastus lateralis, the intermediates, the medialis, and the rectus femoris. It also targets the three muscles of the hamstring. They include the biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. Alright, moving right away from the big words now. I want to discuss with you what it actually is that will determine if the muscles in your legs grow or they stay the exact same size that they currently are. It all comes down to two factors. All right? The first factor is understanding that your quadriceps are the leanest and the strongest muscle in the human body. That means you need to use heavy loads, lots of resistance, simple as that. Second factor is time under tension. Understand this. During a normal day, 12 to 15 hours when you're active, taking away sleep of course, the muscles in your legs are accustomed to stimulation just from doing normal everyday things like standing up, walking, getting off your seat and supporting your own body weight. What that means is doing those same exercises and movements in the gym isn't enough. Okay, That's why you need to add the resistance. Your legs are accustomed to all of those movements so it's very very important that you add a much much larger amount of tension and time under tension within a workout to activate the growth processes within your leg muscles. This workout has been designed to do just that. It involves five sets of four and a half minute contractions. Those sets include the supporting and the shifting of very heavy resistance over a variety of different angles. Now let me go on and uh, walk you through each of the five different exercises. Okay, this exercise is called the standard leg press. Um, a couple important factors here. A lot of controversy around how deep you should go. Basically, I'm going to give my opinion on this. Um, for starters, your back position. You want to push your lower back as hard as you can against the seat here. With your foot position, if you want to have a look, it's right in the middle of the foot pain for a standard leg press. You can go as wide. The wider you go, the more you're going to bring in your adductor muscles. The narrower you go, the more you're going to bring in your quadriceps. Just go right in the middle, have a look there at the foot position, right in the gut there. Okay. Now, on the desk, put simply, you go as deep as your body's going to let you go. Okay? This is how deep you should perform a standard leg press. All the way down. Okay? My chin can almost touch my knees at the moment. That's how far the end should go. And exhale. Uh, this exercise is called the heel elevated squat, barbell squat. Uh, the reason that your heels are elevated is it uh, basically takes a lot of the tension off your hamstrings and your glutes and it puts it onto the front of your legs, onto your quadriceps muscles. Alright? So you're pushing predominantly off your toes rather than your heels. So have a look there at my heels and you'll see I've just used two five kilogram plates there um, to uh, elevate my heels. Pretty simple. the standard forward dumbbell lunge. All right, two critical points here. Your back must remain upright when you're lunging and your knee must not come in front of your toe at any time. Knee alignment, back alignment, pushing off the front foot. This exercise is called a toe press. Uh, it's a variation of the leg press where you're actually, your heels are not contacting the foot pain. You're just pushing from the top half of your feet, so predominantly off your toes. Um, if you want to have a look there at the position of my feet, as you can see, my heels are off the bottom. What this is doing is, much like the squat, it's taking away the tension from your hamstrings and your glutes, and it's bringing it to the front of your legs. You're pushing and driving from your quadriceps. Okay, very tough exercise. Here's an example. <laughs>
Now for people with dodgy knees, a little bit restricting the range of motion and pushing. As you can see, my knees aren't coming above my toes. Watch the deck. Push. For everybody else, get down there. Stop cheating yourself. Deep. Push. Exhale. This exercise is our leg extension, just like this. See my toes? If my toes weren't pointing up, they'd be forward and relaxed, but they're pointing up. More stimulation. And then up, squeeze, down. Now sit back, relax, and watch me battle through just one set of this workout. I might chip on man. I got this shit. Nigga So there we have the very first set of the workout. Now you're required to take two minutes rest and then repeat that for another four sets, five sets in total. So where did that leave you and me? Well, let me ask you. Are you satisfied with the results you're getting from all the hard work you're putting into the gym at the moment? Do you wake up every morning happy with the way you look and the way you perform? If not, trust me, I'm here to help. Why don't you join the already huge community using my Permanent Muscle Training Program? There's the link, permanentmuscle.com. Give it a click. You know, as I said before, if you're serious about changing your body, don't waste another workout. Get on a program built on results to get you results. I'll see you there.